Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 using the Risen Hero mod. We are still in this Zent River Fort here. And in the last episode, we opened up a can of worms here and pissed off all these Zents, so now they're all after us here. Everywhere we go, we're fighting. Uh, we ended up in this uh, barracks room at the end of the last episode, and off camera, I looted all the containers in this room. And the only thing of value in here was there was a longsword plus one. And we found some Zent armor, but nothing too spectacular. But we're going to continue on. Yes. Let's have Valen lead out. Let's go this way. I think the Zent commander was up here this way yet. Oh! Damn, right off the bat, we get some more damn Zents spawning out of the woodwork here. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's use some Alchemist Fire on the spear. And what do we have for spells left? Nothing. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can do maybe with some scrolls. Let's try some missile storm. Probably right up in this area here. Got a few of them. All right, where is Miriam? Miriam, you can get out here. Do some sneak attacking. Alright, how are we looking? We're still alright. Alright, we got a Zent Cleric here too. We should probably go for him. Take his ass out. Alright, there he goes. And we got a wizard down here too. Okay, missile weapons, target the wizard. And... Yeah, Pelor might as well just shoot too. These guys appear to be going down pretty quick, so... And we got some grease coming in. Okay. Take out this guy. And there goes the wizard. Yeah, not too bad. You guys aren't very strong. Alright, let's loot what we can. and a little bit of gold alright yeah that commander was down here yet too oh damn man you guys spawned here again you know what let's use up all this stuff we got a lot of this alchemist fire let's fire some of that up alright let's see let's get Miriam into position here where we can get some backstabs or something going on maybe shoot that sergeant okay let's move up here and we gotta level up oh the zent wizard's dead already let's use some of these scrolls up let's fire at that damn at that guy back there alright just shoot his ass up Okay, Miriam. Let's see, can we move somewhere here? Alright, there we go. And let's get behind this cleric. Shoot his ass. Let's get over here. Yeah. Yeah, they're going down. All right, let's pick up the loot. And we got to do a level up with Miriam. Grab the last of this stuff. All right, Miriam. Eighth level rogue. All right, recommended in dexterity. Yes, indeed. And we'll continue on with... Disable device, some hide, some listen, move silently, open lock, some search, set traps, sleight of hand, tumble, use magic device, and spot. And we got improved uncanny dodge. Alright, yeah, we are making quick work of these guys. I'm not too concerned <laughs> about getting uh, killed at all, but these guys appear to be pretty easy to kill. Except maybe this commander that was up in this room that we saw before. You know what? Let's 
Is he in there? Yeah. Let's use some poison on our spear. Oh, failed it. Okay, let's go get him. Oh, here he comes. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting that though. Okay, a whole bunch of these guys just spawned. Alright, take out the commander. I'm on it. Alright, let's see. What do we have left for scrolls? We got a fireball scroll here. Let's change the view a bit. Where are these guys all centralized at? They'll probably start moving in, so let's drop it right there. Come on, get them all. Get them. Oh, got a good handful of them. Alright. Kill this damn cleric. Alright, the cleric went down easy enough. Alright, Miriam. Let's get back here. See if we can sneak attack this damn wizard back here. Okay. Where is Valen? Okay, he's going for the wizard. And we got another level up. Alright, we gotta help Miriam out here. Okay, Psh, yeah. Yep, easy fighting. Oh, oh, we got them guys in the barracks yet too, I forgot about. Yep. Okay. Let's get some more alchemist fire going on. Let's go get them. Yep, they like using their healing potions, that's for sure. How many we got in here? Just these two. Let's get up in here. <laughs> the missile weapon guys are just ripping them apart, man. Get him! And there we go. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start picking up all this loot, but I think I'll cut that out unless there's something important that we find in this stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so just got done looting the commander's office and his body. He did have some good stuff. There was a lot of masterwork weapons and stuff, but the main thing that I found was this Zent Commander plate. I can't wear it. It's only usable by evil and neutral, but it gives you a bonus to diplomacy and intimidate. I wanted to keep it though because it's made of mithril, so that actually makes it a medium set of armor, so I'm figuring we can get a decent amount of money for that. Yep. And something else we found was this Zent key, so that must be for something. We'll probably find out soon enough. Alright, next thing we need to do is do this level up for Valen. He's going to be an 8th level hunter. Let's keep going. What do they recommend? Wisdom? Nah, let's go strength. And we'll keep going with craft alchemy. And survival. And tumble. And let's put a couple in spot. And a couple in listen. And he gets dash for a feat. So I think he moves... What is that, 10% faster or something like that? Or 5% faster. Okay. Yeah, we got everything out of that barracks room too. Looted the whole place, so. Okay, so we got these stairway going up and another one going down. That one probably goes up to the battlements. And we know there's a bunch of guards up there already. Yes, so I'm thinking we should investigate the basement next. Well, let's go down there. And we're coming right into a fight. Okay, let's move around here a little bit. Took one out already. It's just a Zent fighter. Oh, we got another level up. Damn. Hmm. Okay, let's check these bodies. Nothing on these guys. Alright, so we got a couple doors. Alright, Alistra. Let's level her up. A level ranger. And what do they recommend? Dexterity. Probably a good idea. We'll keep going with that. Let's get some concentration. Some heal. And survival. Some tumble. And let's go with some search. And we'll put the last point in the spot, I think. 
Yeah, that'll work. Swift Tracker. How did that thing work again? Let's take a look here. The ranger is always tracking and does not suffer a movement penalty for doing so. Nice. I suppose so. Okay, so we got a door and it's locked. That one's also locked. Let's see. Miriam has the key. Ah, yes, the key opens. Opens that door. Does it open that one too? Yes, it does. Okay, let's see what we have down here. A sealed door. Okay, we can't do anything with it. This door leads to an underground passage that continues on into the heart of the mountain and possibly deeper into the Underdark itself. This door is magically sealed and is an escape route for the Zents should their fort be overrun. Hmm. Appears that we can't get through there anyway. Okay, let's check this other door here. And it's unlocked. And we have some jail cells down here. It's through here. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Well, the key unlocked this, too. Alright, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, we got some traps, too. Lots of traps. Let's deal with these traps. All kinds of containers in here. Success. Success. Another chest up here. And a cask. And a lockbox. All right, I'm going to just start looting all this stuff. If it, if there's nothing important, then I'll just cut it all out. Okay, got done sorting through all these containers in here. There's a fair amount of magical items in here, yes. of which, of note, we did find a suit of chainmail plus one, which I put on Valen. Okay. And there was also a chain shirt plus one, which I gave to Miriam. Listening. And we found some short swords plus one, and I think a war mace plus one, and also a set of full plate plus one. Can't wear that though, but I'm not going to ditch that. We can probably sell that for a good amount of money. Okay, so let's continue on. It looks like we got a bunch of jail cells and stuff here. Oh, the key works on that too, huh? Hmm. All right, so we got a dead skeleton here. This prisoner didn't seem to fare too well. It appears that way, doesn't it? Okay. Let's check the rest of these. Doesn't look like there's anything in these damn cells. A couple of bodies in here. Oh, that guy got shot up with some arrows. Alright, let's go across the way. Yeah, that, that key appears to open everything down here. Nothing in here. Oh, who's this? Jirognu. Hmm. Oh, there's a pile of coins in there. Let's grab that up real quick. And we got a door here. Uh oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, some damn rats just came out of nowhere here. God <laughs> damn. We got some dire rats here mixed in with some other rats. Get him! Oh, we got a level up for Peldor. Nice. Alright. That's the end of the rats. And a pile of coins with no coins. Nice. Yeah, let's take care of this level up for Peldor right quick. Eighth level wizard moving up. And they recommend intelligence. Yes, I agree. Let's get some concentration, some craft alchemy, some lore, some spellcraft. Can we get some in tumble? No, we cannot. So, let's put some in search. Alright, and a couple spells. What do they recommend? Greater invisibility and ice storm. I'll take ice storm. 
But what else do we have? Phantasmal Killer. Or Enervation, too. You know what? Instead of greater invisibility, let's get some Enervation. And I think we're we're good to go there. No feats. Let's take a look at the spell book. And let's see. Maybe some more stone skin we should pick up. Let's try innervation. I never get a chance to use that much. Okay, let's see. Level three. Maybe some more haste. Actually, deep slumber might be useful. Okay, level one. You know what I'm thinking. Let's get rid of sleep and shield. And let's get some more mage armor. That way we can cover everybody with some kind of some kind of buffing spells. And let's see. Let's take a look at Elystra real quick. Yeah, she's got a spell too. And I think I'm going to go with bark skin there. Okay, let's move on. Yep. Now we have this cell here with this guy, Jirognu. Let's see what happens when we talk to this guy. Before you stands a large half-orc. Every muscle in his body is rigid. His fists are clenched. The veins in his neck throb as he stares at you with unblinking eyes. His body seems on the verge of exploding into a fit of violence and destruction. He slowly speaks in a low, throaty growl. You are the first to dare to open that door. How many fell when you captured me? I would guess at least a dozen, if not more. Hmm, and we have a diplomacy option. Let's try that. Twice that number must have fallen to you. His muscles relax as he let forth a booming laugh. You are not one of them, are you? They keep our items locked in the next door over. I want my gloves to make these bastards bleed. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Oh, he's a companion. Okay, so we got Drognu. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's dual classed here. Looks like he's a second level barbarian, fourth level thug. He's neutral evil though. Hmm. Half orc, of course. Strength 19, Dexterity 16, Constitution 14, and a really poor Charisma with a 6. Okay, what's he got for skills? He's got some in Bluff. He's got decent Intimidate, decent Parry, and a very good Taunt. Let's hotkey that. Feats! He's got the Bully History feat. Gives him plus 1 Intimidate, plus 1 Fortitude, although a minus 1 to Bluff and a minus 2 to Diplomacy. Oh, so he he's unarmed. Improved unarmed strike, power attack, and weapon focus unarmed strike. Hmm. Okay. Skill focus and taunt. That's interesting. Barbarian fast movement, barbarian range, and he's whirlwind frenzied. And he's also got sneak attack 2d6. Whirlwind frenzy. When he enters a rage, he temporarily gains a plus four bonus to strength and a plus two dodge bonus to armor class, and his reflex saves. He can only make while he's in whirlwind frenzy, the barbarian can make one extra attack in a round at his highest base attack bonus, but this attack takes a minus two penalty, as does each other attack made that round. Does not stack with haste. Hmm. Okay. Cool. What's he got for gear? Nothing. Alright, so he said he, all his gear was in the room next door, so... Although we can level him up, let's take care of that now. I guess we'll just keep him going as a thug. What's a thug do for us? A lot of improved sneak attacks. Okay, let's keep going. Alright. Well, let's keep going with taunt, and let's crank the rest into tumble. That should work. No feats. Okay. Yep. Well, I guess his gear is behind this door. Let's take a look here. Looks like the key opened up that one too. Oh, what's this door here? This door is securely bolted and leads out to the river under the fort. Hmm. And we got a bunch of chests. 
Okay. Oh, one's trapped. Oh, two are trapped. Three are trapped. Let's do what is trap. And it's locked. Let's open her up. Success. Iron plate gloves and Trognu's armor. So, I guess that's his gear. Let's take a look at his stuff. What does this do for him? He's got a set of gloves. Plus one attack bonus. Bonus bludgeoning damage. Does daze, possibly. And increased a taunt. Hmm. Yeah, we'll equip that. And his armor. Looks like a plus one... Possibly hide armor. Bonus feet dodge. Damage reduction two. Hmm. What's that give him for armor class 17? You know what, though? Fall in. We had that commander's plate. Let's give that to him. Yeah, he can wear that. Yeah, armor class 21. Hell yes. Okay. Yeah, he gets a bonus to intimidate. And diplomacy, but that's not going to help him. Alright, that's actually pretty damn good armor for him. Alright, now we got somebody else to carry all this damn heavy weight. Now. Okay, so we got some more chests in here. Yep. Let's deal with these traps. Oh, we just got a level <laughs> just got a level up for uh Drognu. Okay. Looks like these are locked too. And it's empty. Let's deal with the rest of these traps. And it's locked. And that one's empty. Let's deal with this one. And that one's also locked. What do we have in here? Come on. And it's empty as well. Hmm. DC 26 on this one. Yep, still got it. And we'll pop the lock. And it's empty. Okay, so let's take care of this level up for Drogno. Six level thug, second level barbarian. Let's keep him going as a thug, I think. What do they recommend? Wisdom? <laughs> Have you lost mind? <laughs> Let's give him some strength, bro. Come on. Strength is now 20. Nice. Okay, we'll keep going with taunt, and let's crank the rest into tumble. And a sneak attack, plus 3d6. That will work. Okay. What? I am going to do a quick look at our gear. Maybe we can pass some stuff off to him and improve his abilities a little bit. So I'll cut all this out. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, sorted through a bit of gear. The only thing I really did, I gave uh, Jirognu uh, Mithril Heavy Shield, so now his armor class is 23, which I'm very happy with. And I also gave him that Ring of the Wandering Ghost. That's the one that allows him to do Ghostly Visage. And I'm using him as a mule, as you can see. I'm kind of loading him up with all kinds of heavy stuff. So Now, something else Hello, that I need to look at, now that everybody leveled up here in the recent past, Let's take a look at this caustic staff again and see if we can get any anything new out of this. Attempt to unlock the runes and powers of this staff. Okay, so we have some options here it looks like. Let's try this lore one here. Try to unlock some of the lesser runes along the staff's shaft. Well, it looks like we just failed that. Let's try again to unlock the powers of the staff. Let's try Spellcraft this time. Success! You recognize the weaves of the lesser spells within the staff. You work to carefully release these powers to your control. The staff glows in an eerie green light as acid bubbles from its ends. Hmm. And it looks like we just got some new powers and abilities on the staff. Continue your quest. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing now. Okay, Acid 1 to 6, Acid Immunity, Acid Splash, Melf's Acid Arrow, and we get Acid Breath now. Hmm. Alright, let's hotkey that bad boy. 
Yeah, that thing gets better as we go up in level. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think we might be done down here. I don't think we can get to this thing. Anything over here? Nope, just some boats. Okay, let's go back upstairs then. I guess we'll go up toward the battlements. Oh! Looks like we got some bad guys. Alright, tear him up. Here comes Jirognu. He's going rage. Let's see if we can get, get back here. Get a sneak attack. Oh, he just turned at us. Bust you good, he said. Alright. Zent fighter. Zent wizard. Shoot that guy up. Yeah, Drognu's getting some sneak attacks in, too. Alright. Alright, let's pick up all the loot. And we should probably see if we can rest down here as well. What's on the wizard? Some more alchemist fire. Alright. Let's pass that stuff off. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can get through that sealed passage either. Okay, let's take a quick look at our spell books. Everything still makes sense. Yeah, I think we're okay with a lot of that yes. stuff. Alright, let's try for a rest down here. I bet I we'll get really attacked, but let's try it anyways. Toil. I must stop and rest a while. Oh, we made it. Nice. I suppose so. Okay, so this is probably a good spot for a quick save.